In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a Facebook comment automation using chatbotbuilder.ai. Hi there, my name is Kelly Noble Mirabella here with chatbotbuilder.ai. And you have entered our foundations course where I teach you how to build AI chatbots that blow your mind. In today's video, I'm teaching you how to turn comments into customers by creating a comment automation that will not only respond to comments publicly on your Facebook page, but also will send them a private message and you could do a number of wonderful things from responding via AI so that every answer is unique to collecting user information and sending lead magnets and beyond. There are so many ways to turn those comments into customers. So let's dive into it and let me show you how it's done. When we're creating a comment grow tool, we need to first think about the elements that we're going to need. We are gonna need some flows. Let me show you first the comment automation so you can see what's gonna be needed. So we're gonna click on add. Now, typically I would go ahead and just create the flows. So essentially we are gonna create something for a specific post or all post. We are going to decide how we're going to reply privately. Are we gonna do it by text, which I do not recommend, by flow, which is what we'll build, or not, we're just not gonna respond privately. And then publicly, how are we going to respond to the comment on the post itself? Will we do text, which I do not recommend, but if you are inclined, you can absolutely add randomized text here. Don't do that though. Uh, flow, which is what I'm gonna show you how to build that's going to utilize AI to respond, or we're not gonna respond at all, which again, I would not recommend because that kind of defeats the purpose of getting more engagement. Are we going to reply to all comments? specific keywords or something that contains. In our case, we're gonna keep it at all comments and then we'll go through the rest later. So what I really wanted to show you here is what do we need to successfully build our comment automation? Well, we're going to need two flows, a private reply flow and a public reply flow. So let's go ahead and build those. So we'll go to flows and click add. And we're gonna first name this one. We'll call this Facebook reply. Continue. Now, this is the private reply. When you're building Facebook automations or Instagram automations and you're sending a private reply, there are very strict rules that Meta has. Now, all of our flows are automatically sent to Omni Channel, which means they can be used on any channel that you have connected. But in the case of a comment reply, you have to specifically label it as such. So in this case, we're doing Messenger Facebook comment replies and that's what we're going to post here. So we have to do that. And then when you're doing comment reply, whether on Facebook or on Instagram, you have to do an opt-in message. So technically this user is not actually going to be considered a contact in your contact list, meaning you cannot respond to them outside of this one message until they take an action. So we'll go ahead and add a text block and we can just simply say something to the effect of, thank you so much for your interest in roll dough pizza truck how can we help you today our goal with this first message is to get the user to take an action so that action can include clicking a button that stays within the chat automation in other words it does not go out to an external link because that does not count as an opt-in or an action it could be they comment which is what we're actually asking for them here or we could do what's called quick replies which act kind of like little buttons and we could do something like today's location since it's a food truck and we could send another message that tells them about today's location. Another quick reply could be the menu and we could do this. All right, so these are just options that we could do or we could just have them comment and we don't have to do these instant replies. So for simplicity's sake, we're gonna go ahead and delete these quick replies and I'm just gonna keep it as a comment. Now I do not need to build anything out after this because if they ask a question of any kind, I have already trained my AI to take over, which means the default message is going to take over and answer any question that comes in. And then this person is now opted in. 
If for some reason you want to have a little bit more control, maybe you're giving away a guidebook or you want them to sign up for a newsletter, that's okay too. You can absolutely do that just by saying something to the effect of, thank you for your interest in this guidebook. Are you ready to sign up? And you can have a button and then that can go to the questions that you would ask and all that good stuff. This is just the opt-in. This is the only thing that we're concerned about, but for now, we're just going to keep it here and click publish. Now we also want to create another flow and this particular flow is going to be called public reply. So this is Facebook public reply. Now this one, we are going to want to train on your company and how you want it to respond to this post. Now, if we're doing it for all posts, you'll want to use your entire knowledge base. If you're doing it for a specific post, you're going to want to use specific knowledge base. This can be set up as an omni channel because it's not going into a private message. So in this case, I'm going to use AI. So I'm going to go to add content. We're going to go to actions and click on open AI, and then we'll click on open AI. And I am going to say generate text advance. It gives me more control. And then we already have 3.5 turbo as part of our built in model. It comes with the account. And then this is where we're going to put our prompt. What information does the chat automation need to know in order to respond publicly to questions? All right. So once we put in all the information that this chatbot is going to need in order to respond to our user's comments, we can go ahead and go to the next step. So the user message will be last input, but we're actually going to change this to Facebook comment. And you can use this user input here for this exact one for Instagram as well. It'll still be last Facebook comment. It's basically saving the last comment that they made. And then where are we saving the response for the AI? So you can either create a new one or you can do something like AI summary or use one of these here. So I'm actually going to create a new one. I'm going to call it I response just so I know exactly what I'm dealing with. And that's going to be added here. We're going to turn off any functions. And yes, we are going to remember the conversation because we want when it sends the private message to remember what the person talked about in the comment. All right. So we're going to click continue and then we're not done yet. We need to add a text box. So let's add text. And in the text box, we are going to use this cuff here, which we just created, which is AI comment response. It's just exactly as we had set up here. This is where we're saving the response and now we are giving the response and then we're done, publish. Now we can go and we can set up our comment growth tool. We are gonna go to marketing. We're gonna go to comment automation. We're going to add, continue. All right, so we're gonna do this particular one for all posts because this is just gonna be our general comment manager. For the private replies, we'll select the flow, private reply, however you set that one up. For our public replies, we're going to select the flow public reply. I'm going to do it for all comments and then we're going to go to more options. From here, you can exclude certain keywords. You can hide comments with specific keywords. I always like to hide the keyword copyrighted because I feel like that's the spammy word that's getting posted on comments these days. And I'm going to hide those because those are annoying. Only reply to new context. I'm going to keep that off. Reply only once to each user. I'm going to keep that off. Like the user's comment, heck yeah. Reply to users who have already commented another post. I would like to do that. Don't reply to replies. I'm actually going to reply to replies, so I'm gonna turn that off. You can track if the user tags other users. I'm gonna turn that off for now. And then this is really important, especially on Instagram when you set these up. Reply after, how fast should the reply be? So we have some options. In legacy platforms, it's an immediate reply. But here, we have the option to say, I want to reply immediately in seconds, minutes, hours, or my favorite, random within three minutes. Now, when you're testing, you should test it as immediately. But once it's ready to go live, you should do random within, because what that does is if I select random within minutes, that means the AI will send a response sometime randomly within three minutes, which makes it so that the meta spam bots, if you will, that are kind of tracking when things are not going to plan, they're not going to flag your account for spam because it's a more natural way of responding. This is especially important if you have a high trust traffic, high engagement page, or if something goes viral. So now everything's created. Great. We're going to click save. We're not done quite yet. We have to turn it on. Now we can go over to our page. We are currently logged in as our page. Once we're on the page, go ahead and switch back to yourself. And actually, since we are going to be testing this, let's go ahead and say immediately. So we 
can see right away if this is going to work. You always want to test before you fully roll it out. And we're going to just comment on one of the things here. All right. So we received a message from Rolling Dough. Thank you so much for your interest in Rolling Dough food truck. How can we help you today? So we can go ahead and comment there. But also they commented back. Hi there. On Mondays from 11 to 1, you can find us at the Frisco Star. Swing by for a slice of our delicious wood fire pizza and let's make your Mondays a whole lot tastier. So this is AI. So every time someone asks a question, the AI is going to pick that up because of how I trained my chatbot. So this is actually working. And because we're done testing, I'm going to go back in here go back to more options and go ahead and say random within three minutes and save. And we're all set. There you go. So easy, right? This is an amazing tool that's going to increase your engagement, increase your leads, and overall impress the pants off of any business that has it implemented. If you'd like to learn more about chatbotbuilder.ai, be sure to check us out at www.chatbotbuilder.ai. If you have questions, go ahead and hit me down in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and stay tuned for more as we continue into the series. Stay tuned, and I'll catch you in the next video.